New shooter coverage of IBC 2024 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Adamos, and b &H. Hi, it's Matt here for NewShooter.com at IBC 2024. I'm at the Black Magic Design Booth. Now, this is the Ursa 17K, and the price was just announced the uh, the other day. For people who may not be familiar with this camera, just give me a quick run through. Yeah, so um, we announced this product as a technical roadmap product at NAB, where we did the sister product, Ursa Cine 12K. Um, built around the same technology and the same camera platform. So all of the features you saw us announce around the camera hardware, you know, network connect connection, B-mount battery, um, some of the connectivity is part of the new camera system. Um, and also using the same RGBW sensor technologies that we announced in Ursa Cine. But the 17K takes us up into a different format. So now we're talking about something that's equivalent to a 65mm system and using and starting to work with medium format lenses. And in terms of uh, user base, who do you think this camera is going to be primarily aimed at or what's it going to be used for? Our expectation is that the camera is going to be attracted to the very high end in terms of production budgets and where people are going to want to access that you know, larger resolution, larger format, um, perhaps as an equivalent to existing 65 systems. Um, it's going to be fantastic in terms of resolution and coverage for VFX, um, again in, in production or in narrative. Um, but we also think that as, as the price allows, as we're interested to see where it will go from an owner-operator point of view. So people that want to step in and try these larger formats, maybe see what the difference is optically is by moving into a medium format system. Um, and the camera will shoot for 8K and 4K as well, so it, it's a really solid production system and a really strong camera choice um, for people to try and, and work with as well. I guess sort of one of the, the small sort of stumbling blocks at the moment is obviously lens coverage for this because there's not that many options there but um, apparently there's been a lot of lens companies coming to the booth here and talking to you guys and so I'm sure we're going to see a lot of options by the time this actually comes to market. Yeah, so we're showing it here with one of the new Tribe lenses. Um, we're working to put a list together so people understand what the coverage is. There's a couple of modes in the camera so you can shoot full width 2.2 to 1 for 17K which is going to be you know, quite wide aperture for lens coverage. Um, there's a couple of crop modes in there as well that will be in the camera systems. But what we're doing with a lot of lens manufacturers, they're coming to the show right now to see the camera for the first time and get a list together of lenses that we know give you that choice. And then customers will be able to make a decision based on what they want optically or you know, their preferred lens manufacturer or if they've got older lenses that are getting rehoused, understand how that's going to sit and work with this camera system. And you've announced the price. Um, any indication yet of availability when this is going to start shipping? No, so I'm um, not sure we were expecting to see the camera IBC with it being a technical announcement just at NAB. So the engineers have done a fantastic job putting together a demo unit for us. It's still in engineering. So the next three to four months is all going to be about getting units out into productions, getting feedback from real world environments about how the camera performs. We'll have more news near the end of the year as where we are on that roadmap. Looking for this camera to be with us early in 2025, I think, for, for customers and for shows.